Hi guys, it's Chessa with Checker. Welcome to our fourth virtual fall quilt market live. And today we have a special guest from Creative Grids who is standing off to the side, Maria. Hello. She says hello. <laughs> I have a few new items to talk to you guys about today first and then we will bring her on to show all the fun stuff. As everybody knows, quilt market had been postponed, but you know that that's not stopping us from keeping your shop in the know. We have increased our Facebook Lives, as you are probably aware, to every Wednesday, the whole month of October, as well as every Friday, we are having a Facebook Fabric Friday Lives. So you're not gonna wanna miss those. You can just see us all week long. Many of our vendors are also submitting new product videos that we are putting on our Checker YouTube channel. So you're gonna wanna head on over there and make sure you subscribe and you're gonna wanna click on that notifications bell so that you get reminders when Checker posts a new video. I'm pretty sure you all already follow us on Facebook, but if not, be sure to hit the like button and a reminder that you can turn on notifications so that you know like days like today when we go live, it's gonna send you a little reminder. We also post events and if you make your um, status to attending or going to that event, it'll also alert you. I think it's like an hour before the event that we have an event today. So it's a good little reminder. As always, I love to know where you guys are watching from. It's super exciting to see from all sides of the world where everybody is. So make sure you leave a comment with your shop name and location. Don't forget that this video does remain on Facebook so you can continue watching later or come back and take a second look if you're like, ooh, I forgot what that was but I really like it and I wanna buy it. The video will be here. So um, as in addition to that, in the description of this video, there is a link to only the items being talked about today that doesn't that does include the creative grid items that Maria is going to talk about. Uh, if you need to take a second look at something or have a question, go ahead and pop it in the comments. And our buyers, as well as me and everybody here, we will try to get that answer for you live. If not, we will answer it later on, so make sure you check back. Let's see who is watching today. Hello, Kirsta from All About Quilting in North Carolina. Hello, Karen from Katie Originals in Oregon. Hello, Kay from Vermont. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. We are going to, um, actually first, I'm gonna tell you that we have a special Creative Grids giveaway today. So that is something you're definitely gonna wanna stick around to the end so you will learn about it. Let's start with a new applique book from Stash. Create something delightful from the scraps in your fabric stash with this Scrappy Bits applique book. Modern quilt designer Sharon, Shannon Brinkley shows you how easy it is to collage scrappy bits and pieces into great new colorful fabrics and then cut them into shapes you can use to accent pillows or quilts or just about anything. A Quilting Life of Home and Hearth from Martingale was written by Sherry McConnell and it is going to warm the hearts of your family and friends. It is full of 12 pretty and practical projects so that kind of makes this book a must-have addition to every quilter's library. From Landauer is an inspiring and accessible guide to creating landscape style art. Um, this is Art Quilt Made Easy and it's the perfect introduction to art quilting. It has three stunning yet simple quilt designs, including a bookmark, a card, and an eight by 10 seam. I have tons of bags to show you today, so we're gonna start with the Bodobo bags. First up is box bags. So these are fully lined. There are no exposed seams. As you see, they nest into each other, which is super fun. So Bodobo bags is um, a line from Tickle Grass Designs. 
that's actually the vendor name that it is under on our website, so just keep that in mind. Um, but of course, you can just search box bags and they will come up just as well. So this one, as you see, has three sizes that like I just showed you, they nest together. There are bonus directions included for making this mini ditty bag. So if they're not in use, you can just pack them back up. So it's super space saving. You can make them in coordinating fabrics or make them all different so that it just makes your home decor a little more fancy. And then we have these super cute Bitsy boxes. These are teeny tiny. I'll hold one up for you. So these are about a two and a half inch square. They have a zipper top. So this is great for holding your teensy little notions like extra needles or your earbuds. Maybe um, you can even use it for your kid's binky because you have the little strap here with the, this is a D hook, mm -hmm. a D hook. So you can put a clamp on it, put it on your purse. Um, some of these, they even stylize the zipper a little bit. You got a nice little ribbon on it. This one has a snowflake charm. So not only are they super cute, they're also super quick. It would make a great gift for anybody this holiday season. You can see all of the other bag patterns on checkerdisc.com. And now we're gonna change gears from cute little mini bags to a very large one from Ansi's too. When I said large, I meant large. This is called the Happy Hauler. It is 20 inches tall by 18 inches wide and it's 12 inches deep. There are six inside pockets. You might see those better on a top down view. You got all your nice pockets in here. So this is just super fun. Obviously you can do it on whatever print you want. You could take it to the beach, that would fit your towels in it and your bathing suits and any extras you want. Next up from Auntie's 2, we have a pattern called Boxing It Up. So this is a fun way to give a gift. You can make this nice box, put your present inside, um, as well as it's just very sturdy, which would make it great for storage. There are actually four different sizes. So we have this one, I'm just gonna take the lid off. And surprise, I have another one. I only have two of the sizes today. So, but you can stack these really in any fashion you want. You can do them tops out so that you can see the pretty bows. There are instructions actually for a bow as well as this fun little fluff, I don't know what you call this, flower. flower. You can do them um, side by side. And if for some reason you're not using them, but I say this every time guys, we always need things for storage. They simply just fit back into each other. And like that, it's all combined and you just put it up on your shelf or put it in storage. Lastly from Auntie's 2 is the mini Poppins bag. So this actually includes this pattern two pre-bent stays, which you know is going to help keep it open and then it nicely keeps it nice and kind of rounded at the top. It's super quick to make. It'd be great to take with you on retreats because it's, it's a good size, but it's not so overwhelming that you feel like you're bringing everything in the kitchen sink. So this one also has two size options as well as multiple pockets on the inside. Lots of storage. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to you. And now we're gonna get ready for 2022. Can you believe it? It's right around the corner. So we have these great by the yard wall calendar that is just for quilters. So this has 12, actually I think it's 13 months because we're starting with December of 2021. So it has 13 months. We need to make that correction on the website. It has 
super cute, fun little cartoons on it. Like for January, this year I resolved to finish one sewing project before starting another. And her husband, the railroad man, tells you that that's not a New Year's resolution. That's an April Fool's joke because she's not going to do that. It also has fun sewing related holidays on here like National Sewing Machine Day, Local Quilt Shop Day, Worldwide Quilting Day, that's March 19th, we should all know when that is. Birthday National Zipper Day is in April, that's good to know. So that is By the Yards calendar, oh it says 12 months on it. Another great way to keep your New Year's organized is with these It Takes Two two-year pocket planners or appointment books, however you prefer to call them. So each month has little information on it, like what the flower of that month is or the birthstone of that month is. Hold this up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, each one also has a quote on it to help get your month started off great. So there are multiple designs for these as well as your um, cards and when you have your bookmarks, you're going to have to see them all on checkerdisc.com. You can get yourself a matching set. You can buy some for a friend. You can mix and, ma miss and match. It's whatever you prefer. Let's see who else is watching. Oh, and it looks like I made a mistake that Deb caught. Uh, the Badobo bags are under that name. I apologize, I thought it was under the tickle grass, but it is actually under the Badobo name. So again, that's a great um, time for me to point out that in the description of this video is a link to all the items that are specifically being spoken about today. Of course, if you have a question, call customer service, they'll be able to help you out, or your checker sales rep. Hello, Emma Rose from Auntie M's in Canada. Hello, Carla Jean in Quilton Crazy all the way in Florida. Hello, Patchwork Garden in New York. Thanks for tuning in today. We all know they're really here to see Maria and Creative Grids, but that's okay. <laughs> Hello, Vicky's Fabrics all the way in Hawaii. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I bet you're all wondering about this beautiful quilt behind me. It is from Busy Hands. This is called Giant Star, which I think is a very fitting name because it's a giant star. Um, the pattern itself includes four sizes. You have your lap, your throw, your queen, and your king. And something I found that was really cool with this pattern is that um, all of the patterns, no matter which size, are the exact same design. It's not just adding a border to make it bigger. They're increasing the size of the block. So they all have the same design just in a larger size, and I thought that was fun. This would be a great um, Americana kind of decor or a quilt of valor. You can also make this for, you know, sometimes we have trouble picking out what a, a guy might like. But as you can see, like in this more natural tones, that it would be great. Um, so, I see we have another question coming in, so let me get through the busy hands items and I will go ahead and answer that. We have another one that Maria is going to help me hold up here. It is called Forever Stars. So Forever Stars, um, as you can see, it is absolutely stunning. There are a lot of huge stars on it. They're on a kind of contrasting background, so the, the oranges really pop. Um, this comes in six size options in the pattern. So it was written for four fabric colors, but I've always said you guys have great imagination. You can change that if you wanted. You could just use your scraps. It would be a great scrap buster, give you a really nice scrappy quilt look. Um, so you can always do that instead. Thank you. And then our next one from Busy Hands is Waterfall 2. So this one is a gradiating ombre log cabin quilt pattern. 
that is highlighting just the single colorway. You're just highlighting the blue here. So you're just going to need six hues from light to dark of the color you choose. It doesn't have to be blue. And then you're going to add in the darker sashing. As always, you can make your own and use a variety of colors. You can ombre anything, you can gradiate anything. Well, the sky's the limit. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome. Do you need to replace your countertop displays? Well, we have lots of countertop displays, a lot of new ones that are just coming in, so keep checking our website. But today, I'm gonna show you the tape measure display of art paintings from Bowen. So this display celebrates the great masters of painting and it features seven famous paintings. Um, you have the self-portrait by Vincent van Gogh. You have the two paint dancers by Edgar Degas. Degas, did I say that right, Cindy? Degas. Degas, Degas, okay and then the Mona Lisa, as well as four other great famous art designs. We also have great items from Allery. I will hold these up so you can see them better. These are red, white, and blue embroidery scissors. They come in a clear display. There's gonna be 18, six of each. You have a popsicle designed one, you have one with some patriotic sunglasses on them, as well as some nice stars. These are three and three quarter inch scissors. And I love how Allery always comes out with festive ones. I have a bunch of them because I like scissors for each of my holidays because I'm that person. You can also make your own displays because I have some more items from Allery that each come in boxes of 12. We have some more embroidery scissors. These ones come with a um, matching sheath. So this one you have some jelly beans. This one you have some cupcakes. Now I'm hungry some ice cream, now I'm really hungry. These ones as well are three and three quarter inch scissors. They have a stainless, they're stainless steel. They have precision pointed blades. Can we go get ice cream after this? Sure. Okay. Next up, I have the awl. So this has that nice soft grip handle that's gonna help reduce um, hand fatigue as well as it helps you with a secure grip. It has an ultra -sure sharp pinpoint tip. There's a large eye that fits both thick and thin threads. So um, this would be great for manual sewing of heavyweight fabrics and leathers. Then we have the ergonomic seam ripper. This one as well has a nice soft grip handle. It's great for moving your seams, your stitches, opening buttonholes. It does have that very well-known safety ball to protect the fabric. And it is a tempered steel blade. Last but not least from Allery is Fray Away. So this, as it says, it prevents fabric from fraying. Um, this is great for trims, ribbons, um, securing thread ends. It has an ultra fine tip nozzle and um, that makes it for super easy application. There's a screw on cap. It goes on clear, it dries clear, it's washable, dry cleanable, it's non-flammable. So it's perfect for use on all your fabrics and like we talked about earlier, it's great for Christmas because of your crafting with bows. It really helps keep those in place. Who doesn't love a great deal? I know I do. Our newest What's On Sale flyer started on Monday and it is a big commit, big part of our commit, it's a big commitment. It's a big part of our commitment to <laughs> you. 
Um, you can depend on it, which means you can depend on us to help your business save money. We um, have everything from new products in here, new fabrics, new notions, to um, sale items. Because we actually have over a thousand fabrics and notions on sale every day. So this flyer is set in the mail five times a year. It's always visible for browsing on our website and together with our product videos and reviews, you have a powerful set of tools devoted to the independent business old owner. As you see on the cover here, there is the simple scallop quilt, which was created using the Creative Grids um, scallop template designed by Krista Mosier, as well as a Checker exclusive digital panel. Um, so since we're in a Creative Grids, I'm going to go ahead and hand this off to Maria. Take it away. Well, thank you, Tessa. <coughs> lay this down on the table so we can take a little bit of a closer look. Like Chessa said, the border of this was created with the new scallop ruler. And I'm going to show you right here the shape of that. So this rounded part is for the corners. And then we've got different choices for the peaks and valleys. It was designed to finish borders ranging from 2 to 12 inches in width. The rounded corner works for every width of the border. The small scallop, which would be here, is for 2 to 5 inch borders. The medium is for 4 to 8 inch borders. And this large one works well with the um, up to 12 inch borders. So you could do a more narrow one, which is 2 and a half inches, all the way up to 12. You're going to pick your favorite peak and valley to adjust to fit your taste in the quilt. And I grabbed the paper tin plates that I made with this to give you a quick little bird's eye view. Here is the corner. I think I got a slide to stay in the camera view there that would go in this outside edge. Ooh, you gotta go down just a little bit. Cutting off More top. towards me. There you go. <clears throat> Not as as practiced at this as Chessa is, so I need a little help getting positioned correctly. Okay, and then if I take that away, I'm going to show you the peaks and the valleys. And so you can see they're done split in half, whether you're putting the peak together or the valley together. And the idea is to scrunch them closer or spread them farther apart in order to do this custom scallop on any quilt it's by your taste and your choice, so you get to create these custom finishes to your quilts. And to give you an extra little treat, I pulled out Elvira, which is one of our machine quilting tools, and quilted the border here. So instead of using it to machine quilt, which it's really designed for, I used it as a template. So I picked spots on the quilt to lay it to trace around that outside edge and then to echo as I went. Pick another spot to start, slide it to the right, slide it to the left, etc. until I had all of these curvy lines drawn on the border of the quilt. And then I quilted and finished, trimmed after we were done and put some bias binding on and I've got a great gift to give for Christmas time. I like this help in the background kind of thing <laughs> we're doing here. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna, my next treat for you is our newest ruler. This is the Alaska Ruler by Edita Sitar. And Edita, she's Laundry Basket Quilts, right? She is from Laundry Basket Quilts. Edita is the newest designer in the Creative Grid group and we welcome her to the family. And can I just say how much I love this Alaska Ruler. She combined three smaller templates for making her Alaska quilt and added more lines so now you can make different sized blocks with just one ruler. Let's take a look at these fun blocks using the basic shapes and the instructions from the insert. Here is a great example of one of the blocks that are in the Alaska quilt. I've got a diamond and I've got triangles and wedges 
and half scare, half scare. Half scare, you're <laughs> It's scared. almost Halloween. <laughs> half square triangles in the corner to finish it out. And these were all cut using the Alaska ruler. The insert looks like this that comes with each one and it shows you how to lay out the strips. Here's some of the blocks that I chose to create to show you. Thank you, Chessa. Mm -hmm. This one's got a few more parts to it. It's got diamonds in each of the sections and then triangles added to it to make that wedge. More half square triangles in the corner, but just with those three colors, look what a fun design that creates. This one's a little more simple with just four diamonds and triangles and then the kites in the corners. This was even simpler yet. I've got eight wedges and four half square triangles to finish out the corners. And this one might be my favorite. Diamonds again with the triangles to create wedges. Plain wedges also cut with the ruler and half square triangles to complete the corners. And everything in that block is with one ruler. Everything is cut with the Alaska ruler. Very clever and very easy. And then she's got some patterns that are available for pre-order, I think. <clears throat> the Alaska is the original that this came with. And like I said, this had actually four pieces. This one combines three of them. And then the wedge piece was a piece on its own, but you could only make one size block. So now with the update and the ruler and the combination, you can make anything from a six and a half up to a 12 and a half inch block. Just to give you a peek at the patterns. Here's Spectrum. There's that Alaska quilt again, but she called it Alaska Holiday. Can you see some of the diamonds and the triangles in those blocks in there? Here's the original Alaska. I know what people are thinking. That's the same pattern, it different is. colorways. But yeah. sometimes it's hard to calculate how much fabric you're going to need. Correct. So with the patterns, she lays it all out for you so you don't have to do a lot of figuring. Here's the Alaska rainbow. The Alaskan star, which is the largest block that you can make and the pillow ends up being 19 by 19 inches with the borders on there. So what a great thing to make for the holidays. Frontier which would match your Alaskan star pillow, so you could have a set in your living room. And then we have Expedition. And all of these are made with the ruler, and I think you can see, look at that clever little block in there, paired with a plain block with just half square triangles on the corners, and look what a beautiful quilt that is. So, help us welcome Edita and the new Alaska ruler to the family of Creative Grid. And we're so happy she's here. Can you see who's watching? Is that hi? Oh, I can. Give a little shout out to some of our watchers from Soli from Finland. Wow, she's a little ways away. <laughs> Tony from So Blessed in Georgia. And my friend Karen from Missouri Star. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Melissa from Aloha Sewing and Vacuum in Oregon. Bill from Studio Bill Lock in Canada. Margie from Margie Perils in Missouri. Okay, I'm gonna cut you off. Gotta save some more for later. Cut, she's cutting me off. <laughs> we'll say hello to the rest of you soon, but there we go. All right. <clears throat> so, I have an update to share with you. We have our one and a half by six and a half inch ruler, and it got a little update. For those of you that like to trim those one and a half inch squares, we've added 45 degree lines to one end to help trim those tiny half square and quarter square triangle blocks. So let's take a look. Here, I'll be honest, tiny sewing is not my favorite thing to do. I have a half square triangle. I'm going to lay either the black because I can see it better or the white because I can see it better depending on the fabric right on the seam line of this little tiny block and use my rotary cutter to cut across and up the side 
and then flip it around and turn the other two sides so I end up with this teeny tiny little one and a half inch square half square triangle block. Look how it fits just perfect under the ruler there. If your block is calling for quarter square triangles, they remind me of hourglass blocks too. The crisscross in the middle here makes it super easy to line this up. I'm going to line, line those right on the seam lines of that block and cut up and across. Flip it around and trim those other two sides and look at these cute little one and a half inch square blocks. And maybe you're going to make a bunch of them and make some kind of other block with them. I know that um, there's lots of projects going on out there that takes advantage of that. So it's also a great item to have with you for quick measuring and easy trimming at retreats and classes because it's small and fits right into one of those bags that Chessa showed you earlier <laughs> to haul your stuff. So next, I get to show you a treat. <clears throat> I call it Maria's Favorites. So I, I have a lot of them. They made me limit it to just a couple of them today. So don't think I'm leaving anybody out. But I'm going to show you a couple of them that I've had a chance to kind of play with since I got here. This is the Scrap Crazy Six by Karen Montgomery. I love the versatility of the pieces in this set. You can use them as a set to create the block or use some of them individually to create one patch quilts. So let me show you what I've done. First of all, here's the ruler pieces in person. Live, live, live and in life. person, correct. <laughs> so it goes A, B, C, D, and E. A is this um, the whole triangle here. <laughs> I had a little blank there for a second. <laughs> is it a square, a rectangle? That's a triangle. <laughs> B fits on the side. D and C fit on the other side. And if you want to split A in half, that's where E comes in to make a smaller triangle there in the middle. So your block basically has four pieces. I'm going to do one, two, three seams, and I've got six inch blocks. And let me show you what those look like. Now I cut a whole bunch of them because that's what I do. So if I lay this next to it, you can see this is A and B and C and D. And they're all six inch blocks, correct? Now I used a bunch of black and whites and I used bright colors for these triangles because um, <clears throat> Karen did a Christmas one with a red and white stripe and all greens in the background and it was so cute. Oh, and I'm you should just holler at me if I'm <laughs> off center. I'm so concerned about what well, I'm placing Well, you were center here. but you started stacking and heavy I'm, on one side. I'm, I'm, I'm migrating <laughs> over, aren't I? <laughs> so, again, Karen created this Christmas quilt that I thought was really cute. But I didn't want a Christmas quilt. I wanted something bright and fun for my new apartment. So I went and found a bunch of black and whites and a bunch of brights that I liked. And then for the Christmas one she did, she simply turned them like this. And put all of those beautiful colored pinwheels towards the center of four of them to create that block. Isn't that cute? So there it's in pieces. I never know, should I throw them really <laughs> dramatically or just hand them Make over? Make confetti. Yeah, something like that. And here's that block sewn together. And here's a couple more colors to give you a little treat. Isn't this going to be a fun quilt? That's going to be nice and bright. Maybe I'll have it quilted by spring, so it's a spring quilt. Ooh. Or maybe sooner than that, we'll see. So I literally just picked a whole bunch of different fat quarters from a local quilt shop and the black and whites and I am just playing to get the feel for what all of these tools do. It is fun and easy to use. It's a great idea for Christmas gifts for those that don't know what to buy that family member that quilts. Be sure to check them out on checkerdisc.com. It has to do with the giveaway. You tease it, but this you can't is, give it all away. Yep. You've just gotten a little <laughs> hint for the giveaway later. Because I can't keep a secret to myself. Okay. 
Now my next favorite, I will be very honest, is the pineapple block. We've got two different templates right now that create the pineapple. I'll just hold them up so you can see the difference. Okay. The bigger one is going to make uh, the smallest block it can do is a six inch, then it does an eight, and then a ten. This little guy does a four, a five, and a six inch block. Very cool. And I've got some blocks to share with you. I'm going to show you this stack of little guys. This one was made with the mini. Pardon my elbow reach there. Okay, show you the tool again. So there's the tool. <clears throat> you can see it at the end. That's that final trimming at the end. An interesting little fact to share with you is that I can get one of these six and a half inch blocks from one two and a half inch strip. I add an accent fabric because I like to. I like that to be consistent, but I love that mixing up of what's in the jelly roll. So one jelly roll per block. So that's kind of fun to know if you need to make three of them, four of them, 50 of them, whatever, you're gonna need that many jelly roll strips. I'd have to do a little more math for that accent fabric, but super fun to put together. I've got a couple of tote bags. This red bag is called Pineapple Sizzle Tote from Cut Loose Press, also made with the mini pineapple tool. And I, yeah, <laughs> stage left or right, what do we call this? <laughs> And this little, that little block, I should have measured before we got in here. <coughs> it's four rollers. inch. I know. <laughs> I think I know a creative fifth person. Yeah. There you go. So this is using the smallest size on the ruler for those four inch blocks. So that gives you a comparison on the same ruler. Look at the difference in sizes. Thank you. And this beautiful bag is called the Tropical pineapple tote, also from Cut Loose Press, also with that same mini ruler, and this one is the six inch block when it's done. So that whole stack of blocks that I have, I can make a whole bunch of tote bags, or I can make a quilt, or whatever I decide to do later on, but it's really interesting to see it put in different places too. Okay, I get to say hi to more people. All right, Jamie says, good afternoon. Marcy from Cotton Picking Quilts in Oklahoma. Mary Beth from Mary's Quilt Market in North Dakota. Heather from Heritage Quilts and Fabric Shop in Wyoming. I love the variety of places people right, are from. It's so exciting. It is very exciting. Jonah from Make Sewing Studio and Fabritopia in Arizona. Heather from Quilt KC, Kentucky, is that right? Kansas City, oh, Kansas City, I bet, KC, right? Inger from Norway, oh my gosh, it's so fun to see him from across the ocean. Jeanette at Cosby Fabric in Tennessee, and I think I'm getting the cutoff quit talking <laughs> sign over here. So we'll be back to greet more of you in a little bit, okay? So I find it really interesting, the difference in the size of blocks. So I wanna show you a little bit more. Here is the same pineapple block, but with that larger ruler. So here we go for comparison. For this one, I started with an accent for the center square. So they usually call for print A and print B, or a light and a dark so that you get that contrast of pineapple in the blocks. I decided to add one more factor into it so all of my blocks will have that chartreuse, chartreuse. green, is that what it's called? <laughs> it matches the little leaf in the print there. So if I show you the little guys again, here I started with the print from the jelly roll and then started with my accent fabric was the first round. This one, I have an accent in the middle and I started with the light or the print, which happens to be from a jelly roll. It can be scraps from your room, it does not matter. But look at how the difference in layout when you put them all together. <coughs> 
probably gonna fall off the screen here. It's too big. It's okay, they can use their imagination. They can. So the, what I want you to notice is that by starting with the print and then the accent, the accent ends up in that outer corner of the block. So then you get this big chunk of turquoise blue here that forms a design along with the little print in the pineapple block. And if I put four of my other little guys on top, look at the difference. This is really the fun part for me as a quilter and an educator, is to play with stuff like this and do them two different ways. So now look at the difference. This one ends up with this color chunk in the middle that creates this cross design. The print is in the center of the little squares. The accent forms this little oval pokey shape in between that's like a pineapple leaf. And that might be where it gets its name from, I'm not sure, but they are so <laughs> much fun. So anytime you get a ruler or a new template, experiment with which is the first fabric, which is the second fabric, etc. Because we're meant to have fun in the sewing room. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll make sure we post pictures when I get these done. Mm -hmm. I'm under pressure now. I made it public. <laughs> Gotta finish. Gotta finish. Oh yeah. <coughs> Okay, so I have another treat for you. This is a new cut loose press pattern called Stars in the Cabin. And it was created by Penny Heron, who is a very talented designer and educator who's part of my team. It uses three different rulers to create this lovely quilt. The first one is the, the log cabin. Huh? No, I can. I think I can do this. I'm, I'm reading the label here for a second. Make sure I say it right. It's a eight inch log cabin trim tool, and in the end of the quilt, that's what creates this block. Now she's added the star block in the middle, but also used the log cabin block or trim tool to create this. So the stars in the middle are done with the ultimate flying geese tool. I'll hold that up. And this ultimate flying geese, you got it, made these little flying geese on the stars right here. Okay, and she's got the math all figured out for you, how big that block needs to be, etc. And one more treat, because once you purchase these tools, you want something to do with them, right? All of these little triangles here are done with the folded corner clipper. So this one happens to be the extra large and it is fairly new to the family. It just came out, I think in July. So it's used to add those half square triangles to the corner of the block. So this fantastic quilt is done with three different rulers, a lot of sewing, a lot of trimming, but a lot of fun when it's done. And it's absolutely gorgeous to show off those rulers with. Thank you, Chessa. Heavy and hot back there. It is. <laughs> Penny used uh, Minky on the back there, so it's very cuddly and nice on the back side. Hand you those. Okay, now we have a clear table here. <clears throat> I want to talk about creative grid mats. So if you look back down on the table here, these come in four different sizes a uh, six by eight a 12 by 18, an 18 by 24, and like this one is a 24 by 36. And they are self-healing. One side features the one inch grid lines with eight inch markings all over the entire surface. And I think this is the side that Gudrun helped, no, the other side. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Do you want your water? I, I would love my water, yeah. I don't talk this much normally on a, on a regular day. <laughs> okay, so for those who like to cut all those different squares and the markings, our Creative Grid rulers work very well with all of that. You've also got some 45 and 60 degree lines for when you're cutting bias angles or maybe a triangle that needs a 60 degree, etc. Oh yes, the big easy. And how nicely the lines just yep. are. 
perfectly matched. I know. Depending on how tall you are, you got to look one way and then the other here <laughs> to get them on there. So that grid work fits just perfect on top of that grid work on the mat, if you can see it. The Big Easy is another favorite ruler that we weren't really planning to talk about today, but you can see all those different angles that are on there and that fantastic grip and the grid work, etc., that comes with those rulers. Thank you, Chessa. You're welcome. Okay. If you notice along the edge here, can you see that? Yep. Okay. I've got numbers from, you know, 1 up to 36 along the edge. You can see easily the eighth inch, eighth of the eighth inch. <laughs> That's a really small fabric. That's a really one. big eighth of an inch there. <laughs> so an eighth of a yard, a quarter, because you know sometimes you're cutting up some of your fabric from home and you need a quarter of a yard and you got to think how big is that? Well I still have to think how big is that but I also have the numbers right here on the mat to help me. So a quarter of a yard, a third, three eighths, half a yard, five eighths, two thirds, three fourths, seven eighths, and one whole yard on this big mat. This size is probably my favorite because I can get the most cuts on at one time while I'm on top of this mat with my fabric and my cutter and all of that. So you're going to have to pick a size that fits your table. Maybe mm -hmm. your table's not this big, but you get the idea. So for another fun visual, if you see the little stars along the edge here, from star to star is one and a half inches. One of those quick reference things that they put on this mat to help you. From square to square, if you notice the little squares down here, it's two and a half inches. So if you're cutting multiple two and a half inch strips or multiple one and a half inch strips, this is just a great quick visual right here on the mat. And if I show you the back side, let me pull out a smaller one. Take a look at that. Look at the change. So this, am I good there? I there moved, you go, that's better. <laughs> I moved the mat so I'm not in the middle anymore, <laughs> am I? <laughs> so this side has got one inch columns and half inch horizontal lines and guess what it works perfectly with? Our Stripology rulers, look how great that is. Gudrun Erla is the designer that helped create not only the Stripology rulers, but this part of the mat here on the back. So it's easy to lay your fabric on there and see at a glance that you've got one inch, three inch, six inch, whatever your measurement is. And look, it also has the stars on here for one and a half inch cuts. There are larger Stripology rulers that also have the two and a half inch marks. Chess is going to sneak me one here so I can show <laughs> that to you. Okay, it doesn't fit on this little mat, but you'll get the idea. We'll line up on the squares there again. So again, star to star, one and a half inches. Square to square is two and a half inches. And with these plain lines here on the back, how easy it is to see those lines at a glance. And then with the markings on the ruler, you can square up your squares, you can cut the strips, turn and cut angles. So <coughs> Excuse me. A whole list of fun things. <coughs> I apologize. For making your work. <laughs> and it's hot in here. <coughs> We're almost to the end, guys, so make sure you stay tuned for that giveaway announcement. That and questions. We haven't gotten any, any questions oh, yeah, yet. Oh, questions in. Karen asks if the mats are freight intensive. We will have to double check. I'll have to find out for you. If Jim's watching, he'll let us know. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now, along with the mat, I have rulers, and now I, I need a cutter. So here is our new Creative Grid Rotary Cutter. It's got a sleek red metal body made from premium steel. It has a cushion grip that fits very comfortably in your hand. The grip combined with the weight reduces hand fatigue as I'm cutting. 
It's perfect for those that suffer from arthritis and other issues that keep them from enjoying the cutting process. And let me show you what comes with this. So here it comes with a zippered pouch. <clears throat> you can also buy these separately. The Creative Grid zippered pouch. We got a big what from <laughs> Centaur. She's so excited. All right. <laughs> if I unzip this, I realize I'm skipping around in my script over there, but that's okay. Look inside here. It's got this great pocket for the cutter and an extra pocket for blades or maybe little tools or a marking pen or something small that you want to carry with you. <clears throat> when you go on the road, we know we always need or take more than what we need, but this way I can keep it all in one case and keep it ready to go. I want to show you the features of this cutter real quick. It's a simple press of your thumb to open up the blade. Right now it is safe <clears throat> and protected. I'm going to press that button, slide it to the right because I'm a right-handed cutter. And now that blade is revealed. Simply press back to the center to protect it again. Press it off to the left if I want to do some left-hand cutting, which I am sort of able to do because of the grip on the rulers and the ease of using this. I do do a little left hand cutting now and then. Back to the center to protect it. <clears throat> it is super easy to change out the blade. If I turn it over, this black button, I'm simply going to slide it with my thumb, but I'm going to place my hand underneath so the blade doesn't fall. And that post slides right out blade comes right off. I can put a new one on, replace it into the cutter, and use my thumb to lock that into place, and I'm all ready to go again. The case <clears throat> we talked about is zippered with the pockets and the mesh pouch for storing extra blades, etc. So a great addition to your room. The case is also sold separately, like I said before, and look what else I have. You can get replacement blades, sets of two or sets of five, depending on how much cutting you do, and those will fit right there in the case with the cutter. And I know you're all going to want one of these for your sewing room because it is a really great new tool. The new Creative Grids rotary cutter and accessories are available for pre-order now and expected to arrive in February of 2022, so don't hesitate. Get your name on that list. Now, it's time. We're going to move on to the giveaway. So, Chessa, please come back. Hello, everybody. Oh, here's my friend Chessa again. Missed everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, I do want to answer the question about the extra freight. Um, our buyer, Deb, did let us know that the largest, the 24 by 36, is the only one that has extra freight on it. So that was a really good question. Very good. Um, while you guys are getting in, any other questions you might have or just any comments, um, the giveaway is one of Maria's favorites. So exciting. <laughs> which is that Scrap Crazy Creative Grits template that she showed you earlier, mm -hmm. as well as four companion patterns and some extra goodies I'm going to throw in there. Some it's always fun when you do that because I never <laughs> quite know what they're going to get. <laughs> So you guys know the drill, must be a Checker customer, you must be a member of Checker's private Facebook page. If you're not, or group, if you're not already a part of that group, Abby is posting that in the comments so that you have an easy direct link to it. Give us about a day or two um, to get you approved. We're all super busy, it takes a little minute to get through it, but that's okay because you guys will have until Friday. Friday, this coming Friday, October 22nd, to register to win this awesome giveaway. If Maria doesn't steal it. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I work. I have access to those. <laughs> right, should be, I, I should be the one taking yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. 
So no questions today. I don't think so. We're just so good at explaining <laughs> things. <laughs> or they're just enjoying seeing all the products because that is yeah. really fun to see what's coming. It is what, very exciting. In the sale catalog and how some of it got there and all of that. And there's always new stuff every day on our website. Come back. There is. You can use our handy sort by feature and do newest to oldest. You can also do top selling. That's a fun one. I like that to see what's trending. Um, well, then we're going to go ahead and get back to our day jobs. <laughs> a few more people to say hi to. We have a few more people to say hi to. Ooh, see? Ooh. <laughs> Hello, it's Cheryl from Quail Run Quilt Studio in Washington. Thanks for tuning in today. Hello, Kathleen at Salem Stitches in North Carolina. Hello, Laurelyn from Indiana. Thanks for <laughs> tuning in. That's our neighbors in Indiana. Yes, yeah, not that far. Mm -hmm. Hello, Carolina. Hi, Carolina. I bet you have nice weather. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Anne Heidi from Norway. We got a lot from Norway today. That's fantastic. We appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to fantastic. watch with us. Um, I will have another guest next Wednesday. It won't be me. It's not going to be Maria. That's okay. That's, that is okay. She's right down the hallway. I can get her. I can get her anytime you need her. <laughs> it is going to be Nicole from the Gypsy Quilter. So lots of great products there. It'll be a nice overview for you guys. Lots and lots of great stuff. Great new stuff that's just coming out. So that'll be fun. And her products work really well with, with creative grids. Yes pins and measuring things and all of that so it's it's a good thing to combine yeah you're not gonna want to miss that no. one um, as well as same place same time on Friday we have our fabric Friday with a Jeff and I might stick my head in there a few times to say hey <laughs> all these items as always are available on checkerdisc.com Thanks so much for watching. Me and Jeff will see you Friday, and then me and Nicole will see you next Wednesday, October 27th. Thanks for coming, Maria. Thanks for having me again, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.